Okay, good afternoon, Ms. Modi. So, you were a teacher in India two years ago, a high school teacher. Yeah. And you um, told me that you were doing a survey for your class. So, you went to Bandra Reclamation Center. Mm hmm. Can you explain to us what what this center is and what does it do? Yeah, we went to two years before Bandra Reclamation as a specific society with a child and some of the uh, partition they have, uh, take it out the orphan child so there is a one center also over there so uh, some people are taking care of the orf orphan child and some department is with the specific society the handicapped child they take care of them with so we have a special care with the um, so orphan child, we go in there and see that the how child is growing there, and some I have noticed over there, because even the some of the parents willingly give their child over there, and they automatically becomes orphans. So you're saying they don't accept the child, so they just give it to the center. Uh, yeah, for the give it to center is there. Uh, lots of big procedure over there we do, we didn't went over there but they say that we have a big procedure for to accept the child and uh, but once the child is accepted there is a court matter over there once the child is accepted in the uh, bandra reclamation society like that then the whole uh, responsibility becomes that society and they grown up this child and they have rights to give another parents okay with this child so after what you just said all this information what can you say how this relates to foster care so we t you told us uh, um about how kids get um picked up from the streets in india mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so what what process do they go to do they just um take them in their vans and they just take it to yeah them? some of the children are getting from their hospital Maybe some some parents or mother get delivered over there and they leave the hospitals. The child will remain there only. So nobody comes to know. Then NGOs or some uh, social workers come over there and they took them to the orphan society. Some of the parents or mothers, the unmarried woman, if she delivered and born a baby, they throw it to the garbage. So then only it's a... Uh, the orphan society, uh, the NGOs or societies came and they took them, this child, to their society and then grown up them. Okay, so what about kids on the street, not in hospitals, but on the street, if they're just lying on the street? So mm -hmm. how, do they call a special person to take them in the truck? Or do they just... No, no. Do, uh, in, uh, we don't have a... or As a normal person, we don't have a right to take them away with our home. If they are with the NGOs or they, they are with the uh, orphan society. For From there only we can adopt our child, this child. If we, and we can't pick up the so street, any child, and take it to our home. And we can grow any up. No, we can't do like this. We especially we go to the orphan society or some some school or somewhere, and then we have to put up our legal documents. Get this child I want, or I will be grown up by myself. Okay, so when you came here two years ago to the U.S., you told us that you told me that you went to San Antonio, Texas. And you went to the foster care shelter there just to see the similarities. So can you explain to our viewers what the similarities and differences are in India and the U.S.? Uh, the first differences I see that the growing level, how the child is growing. I see a vast, vast difference. The In India, they are, the how, anyhow, child going to the orphan society or some reclamation center or there, they are getting grown up or some parents wants to take it take it but here i have seen that they are the whole orphan's child taking personal care each and every minute's records okay, what this child is doing how he's sleeping what he's doing writing so they are taking care as their personal parents 
and then only I see the similarity is that their eyes is telling that they are still want their own parents they are still call out their mom and dad that feeling I oh, can see the both Indian and US child their eyes is telling me that they are still they warm some kind of warm they are lagging behind the love they want so that are similarities I can see that okay, they want and that way I feel very uh, as I enter the orphan society or somewhere maybe in the US or maybe in India I feel very lucky to myself yeah, I have my own parents and they have grown me very well and no matter how rich or high poor they are but we are with the family thank you for your time Mrs. Modi we will conclude this interview viewers please note that foster care is a huge huge um, event in our society right now it's important because 400,000 people are in foster care right now so please learn more information or inquire from our website about foster care and use this information for future needs thank you for um, watching this video bye bye